Hey guys, in this video we're gonna do a one synthesizer challenge, which means I'm gonna try to make a song using only this synth as the sound source. And I'm using Ableton Live as my DAW, but I'm just gonna use it for effects and I'm just gonna lay down tracks as we go. So let's get right into it. So the first patch I have here is a very simple kind of smooth bass. And I have some reverb running on the DAW here, the Valhalla DSP room, so. Now that we have the bass, let's make a kick drum. So normally how you do a kick drum with an analog synth is you use the self oscillating filter, you crank the resonance all the way up till it self oscillates. And then the trick is just shaping the envelope into something. All right, so now we have our kick. So instead of laying down MIDI, I'm just gonna record one snapshot of this kick, and then we're gonna make a little drum kit using drum rack. Next, let's make a hi-hat or a snare. I'm going to open the filter now, remove the resonance, and we're gonna use like a burst of noise here. And then we just need to find a very snappy envelope shape here. So that's gonna be a very bright one, and I'm gonna remove the resonance, shape the filter a little bit. And then we can maybe start adding some oscillators here. All right, so I have kind of a pseudo snare going on here. And what I'm doing is I'm adding a lot of noise. And then for a snare drum, you wanna kind of emulate the inharmonic sounds of the two drum heads. So I've added a ton of frequency modulation using the LFO. Let's try to make some other weird sound effects here with the oscillators. All right, so I have this metallic kind of thing. And again, I'm just exaggerating frequency modulation. I've brought up the oscillators all the way up. All right, so that's it for the metallic ones. And finally, I'm gonna make some tom drums. And then all you can do with drum rack is literally just drag your samples into the slots and then you can play them with the keyboard. All the sounds in this kit came from the grandmother. So, so far we have drums, bass, and the next thing I'm gonna do is create sort of a pad sound, so. Increase the attack. All right, so I'm gonna record that directly as audio. And since this is a mono synth, I have to keep multi-tracking. Add a third layer. So maybe now we can start thinking about arrangement a little bit so that we're not ending up creating just a giant loop. So I'm gonna put a marker here and call this intro. And this will be kind of the intro. Here I'm feeling kind of a more of a rhythmic plucky sound. All right, so I made this kind of lead patch. And I've added very subtle LFO modulation to the pitch, which I can control with this. All right, I feel like that original bass line, it might be a little too bright. So I've created this other one with a slightly slower attack. Which sounds pretty cool. All right, so I'm just gonna track this like before and maybe tweak the filter a little bit while it's tracking. I'm starting to hate this <laughs> little kick drum snare thing, so I'm just gonna delete that. All right, I'm just gonna record this random vocal speech thing. I don't wanna tell you where to go. I don't wanna tell you what to do, but you know you and you know me. I don't wanna tell you where to go. Thank you. 
Let's record a little melody for the intro here. I don't want to tell you where to go. But I don't want to tell you what to do. All right, so I made this brassy bass patch. And I'm going to record a little melody to take us into a brighter mood. And then I'm going to transpose back into F minor by playing the dominant, which is C7. So. So I'm just going to record this little lead solo over that kind of happier bass line here. this Boards of Canada-ish lead melody towards the end where I've repeated the vocal and I call it Boards of Canada just because there's a tiny bit of very slow LFO giving that kind of vintage warbly sound. I don't want to tell you where to go. I don't want to tell you what to do. But I'm just going to track that and maybe tweak the modulation and cut off. I don't want to tell you where to go. I don't want to tell you what to do. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap it up there. I'm probably going to just EQ it real quick, do some quick arrangement and post the song at the end. And hopefully this was fun to watch. I had a lot of fun working with the grandmother here and I encourage everyone to do this challenge as well. It's a very good way, if anything, just to teach you about synthesis and get, get you familiar with the synth you have. Stay tuned and I'll see you guys in the next. There's nothing quite like this in the world, brother. Nothing quite so grand. Nothing that I've ever felt. No seen, no dreamt. Nothing quite like this in the world, brother. Nothing quite like this in the world, brother. Nothing quite like this in the world, brother. Quite like this in the world, brother. Nothing that I've ever felt. No seen, no dreamt. This seen, no this strength. No this seen, no brand. No this seen, no this strength. No this seen, no brand. I don't want to tell you where to go. I don't want to tell you what to do. But you know you, and you know me, and I know you, and I know me. Said I don't want to tell you what to do. I don't want to tell you where to go. But you know you, and you know me, and I know you.